July 31st. Freedom for the black man. Pictured is William Wilberforce, who was just one of many white men who made it their business to stop the African slave trade in Europe and America. Wilberforce achieved the suppression of the slave trade with the passing of the abolition of the slave trade bill in 1807. Other men such as Granville Sharp, Thomas Clarkson, and even William Cowper, writer of There is a Fountain, joined anti-slavery movements. What we must remember is that the blacks in Africa did not stop the slave trade. Their white business partners did. Had it not been for those white men, the black man would gladly have continued selling his own fellow Africans into slavery for profit. Africa was totally fine with making money by selling its people. It took white men to put a stop to it. So if you support the freedom of blacks in Europe and America, then you have cause to celebrate white history. Happy White History Month.